Hey everyone, it's Mike from the SEO Pub, and today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite tactics to use, and it's all about HTML sitemaps. Now, HTML sitemaps are not anywhere near the same thing as XML sitemaps. XML sitemaps are 100% for search engines to help uh, the crawlability and, and help them index your website, make sure they're getting to every page. HTML sitemaps are something completely different. HTML, HTML sitemaps were really popular back in like the late 90s, you used to see them pretty frequently. They were really just for the users back then. And it was just to, uh, for the most part, it was, a, it was almost like a table of contents for a website, just to make sure users could navigate around the site, find the pages that they wanted. But the way that you can use HTML sitemaps today is for spreading link equity around your website, especially to pages that you normally you may not have a really good way to link to otherwise. Uh, an example of this would be in local SEO, it's really popular to right now to create all these location pages of all the towns around uh, where your business might be located. Even though you may not have locations in all those different towns and, and uh, places that you name, but a lot of businesses like to create 10, 20, 30, or more of these location pages where all they do is they swap out the town name in the in the content and those type of pages can can work really well in local seo but they're not very easy to link like it's not something you'd want to put in your navigation and have a you know drop down to 50 different locations so the way that you can get some link equity and take advantage of the authority of your site is by using an html sitemap and i'm going to go over some other examples here of a couple popular websites that are using them that are not local SEO, they're, they're using them for different things and just show you how these, these work. Before I dive into that, I wanna remind you though to head over to the seopub.com. If you haven't already, make sure that you sign up for the email list there. Once a week, I send out tips and strategies like this that I use every single day for clients that I work with and you wanna make sure that you don't miss the next one. All right, so the first one we're gonna take a look at is a company called PC Insurance. This is a pretty big insurance company in Canada. Uh, the website's pcinsurance.ca. If you do any kind of search for car insurance for just about any town or any of the provinces in Canada, PC insurance will usually show up in the top three, if not you know number one or number two. At the very least, they'll show up in the top five almost every single time. And they have all these different locations that they're hitting. And again, kind of similar to the local SEO problem, you don't necessarily want to it's not easy to link to all those location pages. So what they did here, they have a link in their footer. They just call it sitemap. And if you go to it, basically all it is, it's an HTML sitemap. It's a list of links to pages that are important to them. Um, they have some auto insurance pages here, but where they really want to hit is all these city by city auto insurance pages. And they have the, the provinces and then um, like in Alberta, they have a Calgary page, Edmonton, Lethbridge, Red Deer, Ontario. They have all these locations. Um, they do the same thing for home insurance, but auto insurance is where they, they really do well. And it's just a simple list of links. And again, all this is for is to get link equity flowing, taking advantage of the authority that your page is built up and getting some link equity to flow to these pages where otherwise it... it might be a little harder to get a lot of links to all these pages. You might have some internal links to like the major pages. Like you'll probably find a lot of internal links to the Ontario page and the Alberta page and Calgary, Edmonton, like the bigger cities. But some of these other ones, it's really hard to get links to those pages. Another one that I love, and I've used this in a video before, is Upload. Upload's doing something really neat where Upload is a, a mobile phone app that you can use to pay for tolls. If you're traveling on roads in the United States, there's a lot of roads that have tolls you have to pay uh, to use the road. And it can be kind of inconvenient, you know, if you have to stop at a toll booth to pay or you have to sign up for, like some states have something um, in Pennsylvania, we have something called Easy Pass. I think it's also in New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia. And it's just a transponder that goes in your car, but then you pay an annual fee. And if you don't use it all the time, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So Upload is a, a interesting app for someone who's maybe going like on a road trip or just occasionally has to pay tolls. And what they did, the thing about a, an app like this is a lot of people don't know that an app like this exists. So there isn't really a whole lot of search volume for the 
uh, for terms relating to the app itself. So what they're doing is they're using SEO in a way to try to create the market for this application. It's a pretty neat idea. And down in their footer here, they have this link that is called all toll points. And all it is, is again, it's an HTML sitemap. It's just a page with all these links to all these different pages. And what they're doing, you'll notice that these pages, what they are is tolls, they're toll locations. What they're trying to do is get people who are searching. So if you're going on a road trip or something, you may search for like in Maryland, like how much is the Baltimore Harbor tunnel? What does it cost to, to use that tunnel? Um, and all these other, you know, New Jersey, what's it cost to use the Ben, ben Franklin Bridge? Or people might be asking, do I, do I have to pay to use the Ben Franklin Bridge? Do I need cash to cross the ben Fran Benjamin Franklin vid Bridge? And they're just cashing in on that, uh, the search volume, the people who are searching for these. And basically, they just have a, a really basic page that answers a couple questions. But what they're doing over here is trying to, basically, they're trying to create the market to let people know hey, by the way, we have this app that you can use instead of paying the toll at the at the location there. You can just use this app on your phone and pay it real easy. So they're using, in this way, they're using SEO to kind of create a market for something that people don't really know exists. And the main thing that they're doing is this HTML sitemap. If we go into SEMrush, I can show you. Um, you can look through all the keywords that they're they're ranking for but if you just look at the pages and estimated traffic these are all toll pages you can see the the slash toll point they're all almost all toll point uh toll pages is where they're getting like all their traffic right now and you know some of them are only getting you know 30 40 searches a month or clicks a month some of them are getting less than that but there are a ton of these pages and it all all adds up so they're just hitting every toll that they serve they create a page for it's a pretty neat idea and it's just another way that you can use HTML sitemaps. Uh, another one that's doing this is one of my favorite tools, Content King. Content King is a, a it's a pretty it's an online crawler for websites. So it's similar to like Deep Crawl or Botify, uh, or probably its two biggest competitors. If you've never used one of those, it's a lot like Screaming Frog, but in online instead of having to crawl something and have all the data on your desktop, which is really great for really large websites because Screaming Frog can be a bit of a resource hog if you have to crawl a site that has 100,000 pages or even 50,000 pages. This will do it uh, online and it monitors the site for you. It does all kinds of stuff. But anyhow, so they have one thing that they have is this academy where they have um, different teaching, teaching things. So they have this link in their footer to the academy and they one thing they do is they a couple of their more popular ones they put in the footer like ones that they specifically want to emphasize to these pages and then they have this view all link which again this is really just it's an html sitemap it's dressed up a little so it's not just you know it looks a little nicer than just a, a list of links but that's really all it is is a list of links and it's for all these different um, educational pages that they have about different things that people might be searching for. And what Content King has done is they've created all these pages that are designed to catch search results for people that are searching for information about this stuff, like crawl budget and robots text page, core web vitals, uh, you know, tips on getting Google to index your site, title tags. Anyone who's searching for this kind of stuff might be interested in using a product like Content King. And they have some, some pretty good, good content on here about this stuff. But the challenge is they have all these pages. Where, where do you link to it from? You know, if you put a drop down menu with all these in the uh, or, yeah, drop down menu in, in your header with all these, it gets to be a really big menu. And you just have a ton of links in your header then, which you don't necessarily want. So what they did is they put this link in the site in the footer to an HTML sitemap page and it's basically just a, a big list of all the links and that way they also get some of the link equity from their site flowing to all these different pages to help them rank better. And if, again, we can go on the SEMrush, I can show you. Um, if we look at the pages and all these slash academy are those pages, you can see like they're top, the, almost all their traffic is coming from these the slash academy pages 
And again, the way they're doing it is there is you know definitely some on-page optimization. But then they're also using this HTML sitemap to get some link equity flowing to those pages. The other one that's doing this, uh, again, one of my favorite tools is Phrase. Phrase has this page. Um, actually, I go back to their home page. So in their footer, again, they're doing it in the footer. And you don't always have to put an HTML sitemap in the footer. Uh, a lot of places do. It just is a convenient place to put it. But I've seen some, like if you're doing local SEO and you want to put one of these for your location pages, you could easily put locations as a link in the, in the navigation of your, your site. But down here they have this free tools link. And it's, again, it's really just an HTML sitemap. But it's dressed up a little bit, so it doesn't look like just a, you know, list of links. But that's really all it is, is a, a list of links. And, again, if we go take a look here, um, that was in slash tools. So you can see they're getting, um, you know, some of these are, are more popular than others. But, so you can see they have... Uh, you know, good bit of traffic coming from these tools pages. And again, it's not something that they necessarily want to link to in their navigation. They probably do have some internal links going to some of these pages, but in order to get some link equity flowing to all the pages, they have this HTML sitemap uh, in linked to in their footer. So then it's linked to on every single page and leads people to that content. But more importantly, it, it lets the link equity flow to that content. So those are some examples of ways that you can use HTML sitemaps on your sites or sites that you're working on. Again, if, you just, if you're thinking about a bunch of content you wanna add or a topic that you wanna to add to your website, but you're not quite sure how you're gonna to link to it or where it's gonna fit in the site structure, where exactly it would go in the navigation, you just can't quite figure out where to fit it in. Think about using a site, a HTML sitemap like this. It's working really well for, these are just a few examples that I, I'm aware of and I've seen tons of them. You know, another uh, really popular site that I've used before in this, uh, showing examples of this is Airbnb. They have at the bottom of their page, you'll find a, a sitemap link and they do it in a really spammy way in my opinion because they have just tons and tons of links going to like every single town that there's an Airbnb location in. And there's like, there's their HTML sitemap goes on for like 150 some pages. Then they have a bunch of other categories like luxury rentals, uh, which has a bunch of additional pages. So they do it in a really spammy way. But I think you can, like I showed you here, some of these examples, I think you can do it in a way that it doesn't look spammy at all. It makes total sense why you have it. And it's just an easy way to let link equity flow around to these pages that otherwise might be kind of difficult to link to. So again, if you haven't yet, make sure that you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there. That's it for this video. I'll see everyone in the next one.